Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will show you how the scale tool works in the draft workbench. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0. So I've got this exercise file prepared and let's zoom on this uh, rectangle object and to scale objects I will first select the object and then use the scale tool. I can use it also the other way. First fire up the scale tool and then select the object and the scale tool starts this way. So uh, I've got snapping turned on so I could easily snapping to uh, endpoint so I can easily snap to the endpoints here because the first thing that scale tool is asking me is to set up the point around which the scale will happen. So I will select this point and after I pick the point the setup of the scale tools shows up here in the task panel. So the first thing I will make sure that you've got all these checks unchecked and the first thing is the x factor, y factor and z factor is the scale factor that we will apply in the x axis, y axis and z axis. So let me first show you if I change the X factor to 2 I can immediately see the preview and if I hit OK the rectangle is scaled in the X factor by 2. If I select the second rectangle start fire up the scale tool I will select again this corner file uh, point and now if I change the scale factor in Y to 2, that means I will make it two times larger. So this is uh, always the multiple of the original size. So I will hit OK and it's created the rectangle like this. Now let me show you the first option that we have. I will fire up the scale tool again, select this point again and uh, sometimes you want to scale to uh, use all the factors the same so you can check uniform scaling and now if I change the X factor the Y factor and Z factor changes accordingly so if I hit OK the scale was behaved uniformly in uh, each direction now let me show you uh, the change if I start the scale factor again if I now don't select this point but this point and now I will have the uniform scaling I will switch the uh, I will scale by two and it the direction is of scaling is around this point so this is why you are selecting the basis of the scale point now the next uh, the next uh, option I will show you is that I will again select this point as the scale point and you can also make the objects not only larger but smaller if I select the X factor 0 0.5 I will make the object uh, half as big as it was previously so you can make objects larger and smaller now the next option that we have is I will fire up the tool again, select this point, uh, is the copy option. If I check copy, I will be creating creating scale object but the copy of the original one. So if I create uh, object two times as large and I hit OK, you can see that the larger rectangle is created but the original one still stays there. So you can create copy like this and also you can create that's the another option instead of copy I could choose to create a clone which uh, at first sight it behaves the same but the clone uh, is uh, a different object than the, than the copy so you've got the clone here and this was the copy because the clone the copy is independent of the original object whereas the clone uh, there remains the relationship to the original object now the next option i will show you is the option to scale only parts of an object so 
uh, it has to be a draft object and it has to be either a line or a wire. So I've got this wire object and if I wanted to scale only certain points, I would select them, the vertex, or I will show you I want to scale only this edge. So I will select the edge, I have it selected. And now I fire up the scale tool. I select the corner again and I will deselect create clone and I will select the option modify sub elements. This modify sub element means that I will be scaling not the whole object but just the selected objects. So I will uh, type in 2 in the scale factor and hit OK and you can see that the edge that I have selected is scaled by the factor of 2 in all uh, factors but the other points remain uh, the, the, with the same scale. So this is uh, modify sub elements and again this works only with wire and line objects from the draft workbench. Now let's uh, move to this object which is basically bunch of lines and fillets and I will show you that you can scale multiple objects at once. So I can select all of these objects by hitting shift B as a box select and selecting them. Then I will fire up the scale tool and uh, select this point as the one that we will scale around. And if I have uniform scaling turned on and I will change the scale to 1.5 and hit OK, you will see that I have problems that uh, some of the objects are not able to scale like this. Um, so these are not the basic draft objects and uh, FreeCAD informs me that I have to use the clone method. So you can see that the lines were scaled properly and wires, but not the arcs. And I will show you also here if I have this sofa as, uh, as a uh, compound object. This is a compound. I would have the same problem. I could select the compound, hit scale, select the point which, around which I want to scale. I will type in 1.5, hit OK, and it will tell me that it was unable to scale the compound object. So you can scale objects, but uh, even from other workbenches, but sometimes you will have problems like this. So if I want to make this uh, sofa larger, I would what I would have to do is I would scale I would start the scale tool, select this point and use the create clone object as FreeCAD was telling me. And I would type in 1.5, hit OK. And now I've got clone of the original one. And if I didn't want to have the copy or clone, I would have to hide this one because that's the original one. So now let's uh, move to another another task and this is more of a real world one where i have this so far and i want to make it so that now it's 2800 2, millimeters wide and i want to make it let's say 3200 how would i do that to achieve this goal i first have to create a line object that will be a reference line. So I can maybe start a construction mode. I will uh, start the line here where it's the point around which I will be scaling the sofa. So I will start here, hit shift and make it 3200 millimeters long. So this will be my desired length. I will switch off the construction mode and now I will hit shift B and select all of the sofa object and with control I will deselect the oh it's actually it's I have it as a compound so I can just click on it I don't have to use the shift B 
and now I will fire up the scale tool and I will scale around this point and to scale something in relation to its current size we will use this pick from two points so how this works I will click this button and now it's asking me for the original length so I will click here so it's these 2800 now it's asking me again it might be confusing that I'm placing the point from here but it's asking me the direction from here to how long I want it to be so I will click on this point and now I will hit OK and because I was using the clone tool I will hide the original sofa and you can see that if I select uh, this vertex and with control I will select this vertex and fire up the measure tool it's measuring the distance and it's 3200 millimeters so it's scaled properly now the last thing about the scale tool that you need to know is the option to use not this global work, work plane but the current working plane so I've got a uh, rotated work plane prepared here and if I activate it so now it's uh, now it's uh, activated uh, if I select the the object and pick the point here uh, if I use the working plane orientation I think it should rotate according to these axes not these global one but uh, I think there's a bug in FreeCAD 1.0 where it doesn't work properly so hopefully uh, this will be fixed in FreeCAD 1.1 so this is the last option of the scale tool so now you know everything you need to work with the draft scale tool effectively if you like using FreeCAD consider supporting the project by donating to it the link to the donate page will be in the description box below. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next one.